back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at all of my completed pages and whips in my Maria Trolley books. So let me scoot this off to the side and we will go through them. So the first one is Twilight Garden and I got this book back when it first came out which was 2017. So I've had it quite a while and sadly for having had it so long I've not really done a whole lot in here um, but I'm trying to get more done. So I did this when I first got it and that was back <clears throat> back then when I first got the book. I really didn't know how to blend colors yet or any of that so yeah that's it's really old work there <laughs> and then um, um, this one I started when I first got my polychromos to kind of see how they worked on this paper and I just haven't come back to finish that And the first image I did out of this book, besides that in the front, was this one here. And I'm not sure what pencils I used for that. Honestly, back then, it probably would have been Sudi, the Sudi style colored pencils, because I think other than, other than my Prismas, I think that was about all I had back then. Or Crayola. I had Crayola, Crazy Art, Sudi Style, and Prismas <laughs> back then, that, but that was what I had. Yeah, so it would have been one of those. <laughs> All right. So this is a more recent image, and I did this one using the Color 120 uh, watercolor set. And <clears throat> I also added a little bit of glitter gel pen inside the middle of the little flowers if you can see the sparkle I don't know if it's gonna pick up but so yeah I did that one and then I'm just making sure I did try to flag them I just want to make sure I didn't miss any um and this one is another r really recent image using the Color watercolor pencils and a glitter gel pen inside the flowers. This one, I absolutely love the way this came out and I really enjoyed doing this page. It was a lot of fun and I, <laughs> this is the first one I did with the Color um, in here. And then I became obsessed. <laughs> so I've been wanting to use them on everything lately. So I have been using those a lot. Um, let's see here. Okay, and this is a whip that I started a while back um, using Prismacolor colored pencils. And I just need to come back and finish. And I think I have one more. <clears throat> yes, this one here. Again, this is um, one that I did pretty soon after getting the book. So I really was just using one color. <coughs> one, maybe two colors <laughs> at the time. Um, wasn't very experienced with blending yet, but I still like it and I like that it shows where I started and, and how, kind of how far I've come. So, well, next is Nightfall. <clears throat> and I've only done one in here so far, which is this one here, the picture of the owls with the flower. I need to do more in this book. I really do like this book. Sadly, when I first got the book, <laughs> it was delivered one day while I was at work and it was raining outside and they had just put it in one of those little envelopes 
and by the time I got home and got to my book, it had went through the envelope and my book was wet. It was pretty wet. And the back half, the front half was fine. It wasn't wet at all, but the back half was pretty wet. And as you can, pop, might be able to see, it's a little warped and yeah. <laughs> but I decided not to send it back. <clears throat> I know I could have returned it and gotten a new copy, but I decided just to keep it and show it some love anyway. Although it doesn't look like I've shown it a lot of it. I need to show it some more love. <laughs> so next is Botanicum. <clears throat> I love this book. This and the rest of them are my favorites of all her books um, that I personally own. I don't have her two uh, newest, Universum or the one that, well, I'm not even sure if it's her next one's been released yet, but. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> So, this here I did with Brute Funer watercolor pencils. I wanted to see how the Brute Funer watercolor pencils did in here. <coughs> and then, um, this I did a while back. I was trying to play around with using water-based markers for a base and using colored pencils on top which I enjoyed however I did not like the colors that I chose for these flowers here so I'm honestly not sure if I'll ever come back to this to finish it or not I still I still would like to because I'd like to get it done but I, I'm just really unhappy with this peach peachy orangey color for those flowers I don't know I may try to see if I can salvage it in some way, but yeah, we'll see. Um, this one I started with the Kaur watercolor pencils, um, which I am gonna come back and finish this. I just wasn't super fond of how it was looking, but I think what I'm going to do is when I get it done, I'm gonna come back in and put some pencil on top of this one, especially these purple flowers to try to give it a little bit more detail. <coughs> but other than that, I do like the colors on that page. And then there is this one, and I believe I did this one on the channel, and I used um, my Sergeant Art watercolor crayons for the background, and I believe I used them to base the whole image, and I believe, I think I did that, like I say, I'm pretty sure I did that in a video. Um, and then I went over top of everything with colored pencils. And I put some gel pen around the border and some clear glitter paint on top of the bee's wings. <clears throat> Sorry, every time I sit down to film, I start losing my voice. Okay, and then there is this image here, which I actually really like how this is looking. I started this when I first got my Flowood colored pencils, and <clears throat> I really enjoyed them on this paper, and I really like how this is looking, and I'm really not sure why I didn't finish it yet, but I do have the colors wrote down, and I do intend to finish it. I may try to get myself to do that really soon, because I would love to have that done. I think those colors are really pretty together. Let's see. Ah. And then I did this one when I first got the Astra Pastelo colored pencils. So I wanted to see how they did in here. And they worked nicely in here. They did. I just, again, was not very happy with my color choices for that one. And then I did this one recently in a live stream with you all, <coughs> which 
well, I did most of it in, a, in the live stream. And then I finished it up on my own off camera. So I used the Calora watercolor pencils for this again. And a gel pen, not gel pen. Goodness gracious, what am I saying? Gel crayon in the background. Um, Jelly Roll Clear Glaze Pen on the Ghost. If you can see that, they're a little shiny. And some metallic watercolor paint for the candle holders. I really do like how that one came out too. I think that's it. Yep, in this book. And I think this winter, this winter into Christmas, I think we may do some of these Christmassy pages out of my Maria Trolley books together on the channel. Alright, so next is Flora. <clears throat> and let's see. Dun, dun. <laughs> okay, so I have this lip here which is something I was working on for a future video. I think we'll, <clears throat> I'll be doing hopefully really soon. And then I did this one here with the Giorgione colored pencils. And I used some metallic watercolor paint for that background. I used like an orange and a yellow together. And I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And then this one here was a buddy collar that I did with T from T's World of Adult Coloring. We did this a little while back and I used colored pencil. I'm not sure which ones. And then I had used some gel pen and some uh, glitter paint on the fairy's wings and some gel crayon in the background with a stencil. And yeah, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not good at doing fur at all. I'm really not. And I'm really not fond of flicking fur, but I'm actually pretty happy with how my little bunny turned out. I think he's cute. So, that, and that was a lot of fun. <clears throat> and tees, tees came out gorgeous. Um, if, if you do not already follow her on Instagram, I will try to link her channel and her Instagram in the description box below for you so that you can go check it out. You'll be able to see her beautiful image. But like I said, that, that was quite a while ago, <laughs> though, too, so, um, I think it was a couple years ago now, but, uh, this one here I did r very, very recently within the past, I don't know, week or so, and I used <clears throat> the Calora watercolor pencils again, and the Sargent Art, uh, watercolor crayons for the background, and I... I love this page. I love how this page came out. And it was so much fun to do. I just love it. And I think, like I said, <laughs> I've become obsessed with using these watercolor pencils in these books now. But um, I really do think that I, that I'm gonna start doing that a lot more often in my Maria Trolley books and my Hannah Carlson books because I've done a couple Hannah Carlson pages recently using those as well and they work wonderfully in there also all right so this is another pretty old whip um it's from i want to say a couple years ago also um a year or two ago and there is a video on the channel if you're interested on how i did the leaves on here um originally my intention was to finish the whole thing in a video with you all, uh, but I wasn't able to do so at the time. 
so I think that's part of why I haven't come back to finish it, but I want to try to get this finished really soon. I'm not sure if I'm still going to do it in a video or not. If that's something you'd like to see, please do leave me a comment down below and let me know. And if so, I'll be happy to do that on camera for you guys. And then this is another whip. I was using Black Widow colored pencils on this one <clears throat> for the grapes. And I really like how these grapes are looking. It's another one I really do want to get finished. I want to get them all finished. We're not, I'm not going to lie. I want to get them all done. Whether I will or not, that's another story. <laughs> Alright, so then this one here is a, this is a fairly old one. I did this two or three years ago. I want to say about three years ago now. And I used, I want to say, I think that I think at least for the leaves is Prismacolor. I'm not sure if I used those for the whole thing or not. Um, and then soft pastel in the background. And that's it for that look. Oops. And the next one I have is Luna. All right. So, this one here, I did the Book Belongs To page um, using the QLC 150 when I got those to test them out. And I really enjoyed using them in this book. And I think that's, <clears throat> I'm happy with that, <clears throat> with how that looks. Excuse me. Let me grab a drink real quick. Ice coffee. <laughs> and then I did this one back in July for Shannon's, um, Artist of the Month, and hashtag Trolley July 23. I really enjoyed that. I'm not sure which pencils I used, <clears throat> but I think I also used either watercolor pencil or watercolor crayon for the water. And I used some glitter gel pen on that as well. And then this one here, well, these two here. <laughs> I used Brute Funer 520 on these. I did this one first, and I really loved the colors and how it turned out. So I wanted to carry that over, carry those colors over into this one and have them kind of matching. So that's what I did. And I'm really happy with these. I really love these. I think they're very pretty. It was a lot of fun. I love using the Brute Funer 520. They, they're one of my favorite sets of pencils. And I think that might be, is that all? Yep, that's all I've done in Luna. Next is Moon Valley and out of the books that I have of hers that are in my collection, this one is my favorite. I love this book. Okay, so. Let's see here. This is the first one I did in this book and I used uh, colored pencils. I think it was the Castle Art Gold but I'm not 100% sure about that. And then I used some black Jelly Roll Glaze pen and some metallic watercolor paint in the background, if you can see that. And then I did this one here. And this one was one of my favorite images in the whole book. 
I just cannot wait to do this one. <laughs> and I used, um, I'm not sure which brand, I think it was the Kessel Art Gold, but I'm not 100% sure on the brand of pencil. Um, and I used some metallic watercolor paint for the dragon wings and the moon and the stars. If you can see that shine. And then these are a couple of whips, again, for a future video I'm working on, stuff for. So, there's that. I thought I had more than that done in here, but maybe I don't. Oh, that's a shame. All right. So, that is everything. Guys, please um, do let me know down in the comments um, what you what you think of these, and if there is uh, one of these books in particular that you would like to see me do a color along from on the channel, or if you would like to do a buddy color with me out of one of these, leave me a comment down below, and I would be more than happy to do that. And until next time, spread joy like glitter. Stay safe and happy coloring. Bye guys.